What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. Good afternoon, everybody. We have us a Blood Bowl match today. It is the first round of the playoffs in Stomping Fields. And we get to play against uh, the Kemry, coached by Braun. We played these guys earlier in the season and ended up beating them, if I remember correctly. Uh, we are at home, and we are giving him 110, it looks like. So let's look at our roster here. Um, both teams get a wizard, so we're both going to have a wizard. So we take the wizard away from him with uh, giving him 110. We are missing two players. We're missing a wrestle lineman and our wrestle gutter runner. So we will have our three gutters. We'll have five linemen. And then both Storm Vermin, the new rookie Rad Ogre. This will be his first game. And a thrower. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve man roster. One cheerleader, one coach, eleven fan factor, three re rows, and an apo. <coughs> Alright, so we're giving him 110 currently. He's got 50k. He has his full roster, which is also a 12-man roster. Only eight fan factor to my 11. No coaches, no cheerleaders. He does have two rerolls. He's got all four Tomb Guardians, one rookie, one blocker, one with Mighty Blow Guard, one with Mighty Blow Guard, Stand Firm, Break Tackle. He's got uh, two rookie throw rows, so he lost his good throw raw in the last match or two. He has... Uh, a couple of really nice looking blitz rods. One who is edge broke, but is a mighty blow tackle, dodge, and break tackle. So he'll be a good piece for getting hits on the gutter runners. You've got to keep him, keep him away from the gutters. And then he has another mighty blow tackle piling on frenzy and juggernaut. <clears throat> so both of those guys could wreck some damage on my gutters. We have a dirty player skelly, a wrestle guard tackle skelly, a wrestle dirty player skelly, and then a Skeleton with a block, fend, and double edge boost. So edge four there. <coughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what happens here. I have a feeling he might go with a bribe here since he's got a couple of dirty players. And he's already got the free wizard. He doesn't need another wizard, so. Oh, no, he goes with the extra reroll. Okay. Oh, because he doesn't have the leader throw rod to get the third reroll. <coughs> and that does give him a third one, so. Okay, fair enough. Snowing, so this would definitely hurt him. As my speed will uh, be able to take advantage of this potential snow. If we win the toss, we will kick. We do not win the toss. I would imagine he'll receive. But you never know with him having the wizard, he might not. Yeah, he does choose to play defense. Wow, okay. So we'll try to go ahead and just score quick and then uh, play defense the rest of the half with um, cuz we got we don't have a natural one turning but we'll play, try to play defense for the rest of the half because uh, we have the wizard so Let's see if we can steal a defensive touchdown with the wizard
All right, let's get uh, let's get our right guy here up. There we go. All right, so looking good. All right, so this is uh, elimination format, obviously. So um, play or uh, overtime is in effect. There will be no tie, tie at the end of the game. So. After this Tomb Guardian with our claw piece. little tight square there <laughs> almost be fun to throw a uh, fireball in there wouldn't it he's trying his hardest to protect that edge guy I don't really care about him could give a care less So we're going to switch and go off to this guy then. I didn't even look. He rolled a 3 to go with his 8. I rolled a 9 to go with my 11, so I definitely have fame. As he's at 11, and I'm at 20. <clears throat> so I just missed getting fame plus 2. Oof, my goodness. Holy cow. All right, then. That just happened. Hmm. Now I can get a... Oh, no. I can't get a hit on him. Holy cow. Wow. That is very fucking interesting there. <clears throat> very, very interesting. Um, yeah. I guess I don't really have to worry about Ah, come on. Damn it. If I can take him down. There we go. As I say, I don't have to worry about him fouling now. Oh, well never mind. Don't have to worry about that anyway. Because <coughs> I'm not filing on. Uh, 
so Etho with a cross there. Worried about the most was rolling the one there. Get a frenzy, so we'll get another hit here. That's fine. Did we get a yellow. Fuck, we didn't. But that's okay. Yep, let me push you away again. Absolutely. So that means he'll get a mighty blow hit on the rat over. Or not. Interesting. There you go. Let's see if we can get a claw hit next turn on this, this uh, Tomb Guardian. Come on, Claw. Do a job here, baby. Do a job here, Claw. Ah! Damn it. That sucks. Oof, I got five guys right there. He could... Ooh, fuck, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I have jump up here? No, just pile on. Does this other guy? No, okay. So he can't really get to me. 
but he could fireball that, which is nasty. To say the least. Fuck it. If he does, he does. Let's tempt him to it, and maybe his wizard will be gone. He does not. Okay. We're good with that. I'm going to go after the claw piece here. Just thinking about it. <clears throat> I didn't think about him doing the blitz on the claw piece with the frenzy piece, though. But I do have my guard in the right spot, both of my guards. Could get three dice there. Nope. Could have with the mighty blow. Could frenzy this guy with the mighty blow. <clears throat> nope, nope, I'm gonna go after him instead. Interesting. So that's gonna frenzy him into a, yep, into an uphill. Oh, he re-rolls it immediately. <laughs> nice, we'll take it. He'll pile on. Nice, we'll take that. Oh, did he regen? Oh, I didn't even pay attention. That fucker regen. The cars I got earlier. That sucks. Okay, so. <clears throat> that means is we'll do the claw hit here. He doesn't. Come on, Claw. Do your thing this time. There we go. <coughs> KO is good enough. KO is good enough. Oof, good thing I got three dice. Good thing I got three dice there. Oh, come on, baby. Cross him up. Damn, that would have been nice. <clears throat> that would have been nice. Do we take a chance of stalling here another turn? The best he's going to get is a pile on here. Get his pylon hit on my guard piece here, most likely. <clears throat> well, no, he can't. He's got to get two guys to assist here to get the uh, the pylon hit on him. Elsewise, the best he can do is an uphill there or a one die here.
potentially get either the pylon hit on this guy with tackle or the claw hit on this guy with tackle. Deciding what he wants to do, isn't he? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so he's going to keep the claw piece marked up there. If he does that. Just having one hell of a time trying to figure out what to do here, isn't he? Nice. We'll take that blitz. Absolutely. That's a wasted blitz there, which means he won't be blitzing here. out there. We'll take that all day long. Oh, yes, that is a dodge. Okay. Okay. We like, we like. So we'll just bring him into here. Bring this guy around to here. <coughs> Let us do this hit and push him into the claw. Perfect. He should take. He shouldn't have dodged. He should have taken it without the dodge. I actually should have moved him up there too. I messed that up. Got to hope this breaks. Oh, good, it does. Just a stun. No. <coughs> There would have been nice. Oh fuck, that was a go for it. <coughs> Did not think that was a GFI there.
Uh, I don't know if I want to give him the free Mighty Blow hit on this guy. Or if I give him the three die hit and let him have the chance of getting a pow on him. I don't want him to stand up because he can just move in here and get the guard in where he can do some potential damage with him. So we're just going to do that. be a one die at this point. There. Now nah, it would be a free hit. Okay, so we didn't do the blitz there. That's good. follow and then uh, blitz or uh, foul I mean nope chooses not to do that oh nice rolled the one on the dodge that's nice yeah just the reroll there so it makes him at least use the reroll now I can't do the go for it He's going to foul that way. Okay. <clears throat> Surprised he's going to foul, really, to be honest. Well, I mean, I guess he's still got numbers at this point because, yeah, I haven't gotten crosses that stuck. I didn't get the break anyway. Blitz. No yellow is good. And he can't reroll. Oh, but he's got Frenzy. Shit. That sucks, because that means he'll get two dice now. And he's got Juggernaut, so he could just push it. Yeah. Ah, that really sucked right there. And he gets the injury. Damn it. That sucked. <clears throat> Oh, he's messing up doing that. He's gonna give me a chance to get a hit now with Claw. Yep. <clears throat> Bad play there. followed because then I'd had to make a go for it to hit you with him ah we didn't break damn it <coughs> that sucks <coughs>
see if he uses that wizard this time. I don't think he does. No reason for him really to. He's going to do the Frenzy Blitz on him. Well, he's not going to Blitz the way I expected him to. <coughs> yeah, that's the better play, because then he can Frenzy the Claw Piece instead, which is absolutely the better play. He's going to frenzy himself into a one die or an uphill, potentially. Or he's going to do a three plus go for it. best bet is to just go here and re-roll to get the yellow on the first hit, yep. Since you've put yourself in the position to go that route, that's your absolute best in case scenario there. <coughs> okay, take that. Now you have to go here. Oh, even better. Come on, no yellow. No yellow. Ah, he gets the yellow. Damn it. That means he can pile on. And he will. should anyway because if he doesn't I just blitz him right back with claw with yeah <clears throat> nice 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 I can do about that. without just a one. Oh, and I wouldn't be able to get into there anyway. <clears throat> so, what's the best bet here? score here, I think. Oh! Oh, shit! And he failed regen. Yikes. <clears throat> that was a really nice fucking skeleton to just lose right there.
Oof, damn. Alright, so both of my, uh, both of my storm vermin get Kaz's there and deads. I can't do the two die there now because I moved him. Yeah, because then I'd have to do three pluses to get to there. <coughs> or I'd have to do a three plus dodge there. Is that worth doing? Is the question. He could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could dodge out and get me with him. <coughs> That gives him the hit on that guy. Or he can do the pylon blitz with him, which is probably the better play. Well, that just freed up a lot of TV for him, unless he wants to go for that. He could have wizarded. He could wizard and fireball there if he wanted to. That does suck about that skeleton. I wasn't expecting to kill him. I'd have been happy with just a badly hurt. Does he reroll here? Maybe. Try to get that guy out of the game. Might be worth it. At this point, you're giving up the score. <coughs> I think I would have taken... Oh, because he's got Frenzy, that's why. Ah. No, that's that's probably a good play. I was going to say, I think we probably would have just taken them both down to keep him next to the guard. But I forgot that guy had Frenzy. <coughs> so that was that was a good play to use the uh, Juggernaut there. sucks because that blocks up my and that's KO there too that blocks up my dodge out to get the assist on uh, this guy <coughs> mm, that'll help though oh I can still dodge out there <coughs> I 
I think that was probably the better play there. So then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can get just get to there. <coughs> That's nice. A break here would be really nice. Oh, he re-rolled it. Damn, that sucks. I was not expecting him to re-roll that. And he gets the break. Ugh. Definitely was not expecting him to re-roll that. <clears throat> well, that slows things down a bit. I think we just go ahead and score here. We're not going to take those uh, potential hits from all that mighty blow that turn. <clears throat> no sense in taking all those potential hits. Oh, they both stay out. That sucks. So did his, though, so that's good. <clears throat> Just put everybody back here out of range. What that was. Absolutely. Whatever. I don't want the fuck you're watching down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> I don't think he does any go for it's there, so we're staying in good range here. <coughs> He'll get three dice on all these guys, which is fine. So he's down four players currently. I'm down two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He'll have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I'd put the I'd put the block tomb guardian on this guy. That way you can take advantage of the both down to potentially take that guy down. Or him even. Putting the both down here doesn't do you any good. And I wouldn't be using my blitzers. I'd be moving my blitzers and my skeleton and my throw rod down to get in potential scoring range. I'd be using the three Tomb Guardians on all three of those hits. <coughs> and try to get three dice on all of them. Well, you don't have three, have three dice on him. So you put him on this guy or the guard guy. He doesn't need three dice because they're both down. You can get three dice on the other two with your other two Tomb Guardians. And then that frees up the throw rod, both blitzers, and this guy to come down and get in scoring range and get one blocked off a little bit. It's the only chance you have to potentially score and tie it up here. <clears throat> doesn't really help him that much. It gives him a free roll at the ball at least, but besides that, it doesn't really help him that much because he didn't need to save movement. He had this, guy, this throw rod back here to come back and get the potential ball so he was going to move up anyway <coughs> yeah it looks like he's not even going to try to go for the score here <coughs> he's going to go for trying to get the hits and get the removals So I just need no crosses here. I need to dodge three hits of no crosses.
Potential ar armor break there. Dodge the first hit. Can we dodge one more here? Oh, we do. Nice. We like that. <coughs> this is a non mighty blow hit. Non mighty blow hit on there. Yep. And no takedown. Even better. Let's get the take down there. That is mighty blow. No break though. So here comes your three die blitz. Yep, with mighty blow there. Does get the hit. Does break and just KO. Good enough, it's not a cross, so we'll take it. <coughs> we just gotta hope our KO rolls come through. away <clears throat> all right so we're just gonna keep everybody completely out of range here don't let him get any kind of a fireball the foul, he can foul. It's the rookie. Would not expect him to foul here, but you never know, he might. Try to get the pass off with this one. So you do, you get the four, get her to... One SPP, so the MVP would love her. Pass is good. And fails to catch again. Alright, so let's hope our KO rolls are good and that his aren't. We do still have the wizard. He still has his as well, though. Well, we get two out, two back. Two out of three. Not bad. And he failed both of his, so that's good. <coughs> All right, so how do we want to do this now? Oh, we got our guard guy back. Okay. There. Does he do that? Does he do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I don't know. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, though. Alright, let him do his setup. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So one, two, oh. puts three back. Okay. I get the extra reroll. We'll take that. So one, two, three, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got numbers by two. But he's got his round of hits here that he's going to get off. <sighs> he can get three dice there with him. He can get three dice there with him. <coughs> <coughs> yep, and he gets the yellow. Break is good. <clears throat> Gets the yellow there. That's a pile on hit that he'll get. I would assume he piles on here. Does break on that one. Just a stun there. So that's good. That's right, he hasn't blitzed yet. It's gonna put him out there in the way of getting uh, blitzed back, though. That's a little bit scary for him. Kinda like the blitz here a little bit better, just because that's armor 7 versus armor 8, but he does get a chance to get a hit on that guy, <coughs> which doesn't matter. Yeah, would not expect him to follow here. Need him to fail this pickup is what I need. Okay. Ah. Failed the first one but got the second one.
Thanks. <clears throat> I wanted to get the take down there. Very badly. Wanted to get the take down there. <clears throat> Five, six, seven. So you have to do two go forts there. <coughs> and this guy over here. Either way, he's got to do two go forts here. I don't think he does that, but <coughs> we shall see. I'm giving him a lot of hits here. Unfortunately. Good news is we got the rat ogre back here, so if we need to blitz with him, we can. We'll see. gonna blitz here and then bring him in here. <coughs> what he's gonna do. Yeah. Or he could just do the hit here and then bring him over. Then blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good, no yellow. Perfect. <coughs> <coughs> and he goes to here. Yep. See that coming a mile away. He could do the hit here and then mark the rat ogre with him. That might be the play. <coughs> <coughs> good thing is, when he does the hit here, he's got to follow to try to mark him up and keep him marked, which is going to open the way for me to get through there and get a hit there, potentially. Because I am going to fireball right here. Yep. Absolutely what I expected. Nice. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, I'm going to fireball right here instead. Because I can blitz this corner off. No yellow's big. <clears throat> Got to follow? Yep. Okay, so stand him up. No guard there. That gets us two dice there. Oh, f I forgot to use the wizard. Fuck me, I forgot to use the wizard. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> I 
I fucked that up big time. God damn it. Totally forgot to use the wizard. <coughs> totally forgot to use the wizard right there. Mm -mm -mm -mm, man. Right there. <coughs> Big KO there. God damn it, I forgot to use the fucking wizard. That pisses me off so bad. Oh my goodness. How did I fucking do that? <coughs> I hate doing this, go for it, but. Ah. Do I use a reroll here? Mm, and I rolled a two. Do I use the reroll here? Big dodge right there, too. <coughs> Big time dodge right there. Whew, that could have went a lot worse if I double failed that go for it. <coughs> but I didn't, and I was able to get everything marked up the way I needed it. And that was two huge breaks there. One to get his pylon piece off, and one to get that guy stunned. Because <coughs> now he's only got one, two, three, four, five, six guys he can move this turn. That he can activate and do anything with. And the bigger thing is, is he can't blitz the Rattler off with that uh, Tomb Guardian. <coughs> and depending on what he does here, it could potentially surf this guy if things stay like they are right now with the Rattler and him staying there. You just got him in a really bad spot right here. <coughs> He's almost going to have to wizard. He's almost got a lightning bolt the rat ogre and then blitz here with the pile or with the tackle mighty blow piece. <coughs> really about the only chance he's got here. Really just about the only potential chance he has to be honest. <coughs> 
kind of glad I didn't use the wizard there now. That worked out pretty well. That lightning bolt. Yep. <clears throat> and that's what he had to do. That's pretty much what he had to do. I need no yellow here. Ah, he gets the yellow, damn it. No break, though. That's big. <coughs> that's big. Problem is, he just he, there's nothing he can do to stop me getting a hit on him. <clears throat> nothing at all that he can do to stop me getting a hit on him here. <clears throat> ah, that's a bad hit for me, or a bad break for me, but it is what it is. <clears throat> here I guess <clears throat> instead of potatoing out potentially that's what it looks like anyway <clears throat> to be honest if you're gonna do it that way I'd use the ball carrier there then you can move your other throw row out around here to block off the side here <clears throat> Now I got a beautiful fireball. <clears throat> Can get five of your remaining seven players in a fireball. Well, no, because he'll follow out here. <clears throat> Take a chance hitting my own guy in a fireball, but... <coughs> Rerolls a turn over there. That's got it. That's good. So do I fireball and take the chance of hitting my guy, or do I fireball and just hit those three? <clears throat> or do I lightning bolt and just see what happens? Um, I could just fireball the three, actually, right here. <clears throat> okay, well, we get that guy. That's good. <clears throat> that means we can get a hit on the ball now. So first things first, let's move this guy here. <clears throat>
Now we just have to make it go for it. <coughs> yes. Oh, beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And a break. Now bounce good for me, ball. I got my big hand guy here to pick it up in a tackle zone. Oh, terrible bounce. Three plus, or I come around here and do it that way. Nice. through. Do I just pass it here? No, I make him make the plays. Fuck it. <clears throat> He's still got to dodge out of this guy. Go do the hit there. He's still got to dodge from him. And then get the uh, the yellow or the both down either way. Oh, well, there you go. He's got to use his reroll right there, and he didn't even take him out, which is even better. That should... That should do it for us. I mean, he could still get to me. <laughs> Gotta make two dodges. Yep. If you want to blitz me anyway. We'll take it. I think that pretty much secures up the win for us. As soon as he gets somebody down here close to us, assuming he does, we just uh, score. We'll take our chance with the line of scrimmage hits at that point. We do still have our APO. <coughs> so I think we are good to go. Just a hit I had to take. A lot I can do on that. <coughs> He'll probably get the two die hit here with Mighty Blow. The puts there. Oh no, I can't because that guy's marked by him. I forgot about that. I'm gonna 
do the one die there on the uh, red orb. <coughs> Not a bad choice. He does get them both down. And a KO. <coughs> wrestle if he wants. <clears throat> So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> <coughs> so he's going to blitz here and put pressure on the ball, make me score next turn. Thank you. 
four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. <coughs> I will not use the reroll here. <coughs> I don't mind doing this and stalling out like this because trying to stall out like this. Because A, I've pretty much got the win locked up. There's not much he can do to score here. And it keeps the amount of hits that I'm going to take limited. And it doesn't give him a chance to get these other two Mighty Blow guys back to get hits on me on the line of scrimmage. So my guess is, yeah, does that. He hopes to get the yellow, follows, comes in and puts tackle on me. <coughs> if he gets pushed, he can still get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. The good thing is, is it lets him get the hit on him. I'm not sure. Oh, so he can get a hit on him instead. Okay. Yeah, that's the better play. <coughs> problem is he knows that I'm going to get the claw hit back on him. He doesn't want to get that or leave that. Yeah. <coughs> oh, you don't want to that that gives me the surf. That's your best play there. <coughs> ah, he gets the yellow. I needed him to not get the one that yellow there. Damn it! Crap. Oh, Andy breaks. Ooh, Andy injures. Damn. That really sucked badly hurt, but still, man, did not expect that to happen. <clears throat> did not expect that to happen, and I don't expect him to make this. I figured that's what he would do. <clears throat> that's the better play. I just need him to fail it. <clears throat> Okay, here. Fallon with a gutter runner. I get caught, but it did what it needed to do. <coughs> it did what it needed to do.
And the score with Hayatef to take the win. And that is a good deal. We will advance to the next round with the team's 20th win. <coughs> so a good game for us. We survive. No damage at all. That's really good. And uh, get the 2-0 win. Wizard come in handy. <coughs> we'll reroll that into another one. And the thrower gets the MVP in levels. That's nice. We'll take that. Good level up there for him. And then we sit and wait and see who we get to play in the finals. <coughs> And we get both of our other players back, so we're not missing anybody for the next game. Which means our TV is going to blow it up super high. Going to be right around 2,000 here once we level up this thrower. Regular skill up. Um, she's got extra arms to help with the pickup. Go with the accurate here. Yeah, let's go with accurate. <clears throat> Not worried about block to keep him up. I'm worried about passing with him, picking the ball up and passing. Puts us at 1990. 0, 38, 88, 18, 0, 11, 13, 13, 6, 25, 9, 43, 87, 46. Perfect. And we got our win. 11 fan factor. And we are at 60K. All right. Good deal. Now let's go look at the other two teams. I know one's the underworld of Welgemir. The other is the humans of Cherry Crush. <coughs> we beat both of those teams earlier in the season. 
Oh, I know I beat Weldramir. I'm pretty sure I beat the humans, if I remember right. <coughs> Let's go check and see. So, collapse in the game, we beat 3-1. to one. And we tied the humans. 3-3, <coughs> three to three. yeah, because he's got a goofy-ass catcher that can score like crazy. So let's see what those two teams look like going into this match. <coughs> Weldrimer plays the Underworld very well. He's got his full roster. He does have a move 9 thrower. Double moon boosted. Wow. That thrower is really good, too. A couple of claw pieces. Three claw pieces. Yikes. And Cherry's humans. Uh, oh, wow. He must have lost his really good catcher. I thought he had a move 9 or move 10 catcher. Pretty sure he did. He might have lost him, though. <coughs> So this would be a little bit tougher match for Cherry than uh, than what I originally thought it would be. So almost positive he had a move, either move nine or move ten catcher. I don't remember which. But so that match will have the winner of that for the finals. We lost in the finals last season to keep our perfect season alive at fourteen and or to go wait a minute, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, is it thirteen and zero? I think it was, and we ended up going twelve and one because we lost in the semis. Not a perfect season this season, but definitely a lossless season, as we did not lose with the Skaven. <coughs> we did draw twice, but we have a chance again next week to uh, to keep the lossless streak going and, uh, and pull the championship. So, All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks, everybody, for getting on and watching. Hope you have a great rest of your afternoon or evening, wherever you may be, <coughs> or morning, depending on when you watch this. <laughs> So uh, we'll have this up to YouTube soon. And uh, thanks, everybody, for getting on and watching. And we'll see you in the last match of the season, the championship match, title match. So have a good one, everybody. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Where do I see the line of my, my people? Home. Back to the beginning. No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them.